The following presentation is brought to you as a courtesy from Forex Academy. This is part of our service, Advanced Technical Analysis Course. If you find it interesting and wish to be updated on new releases, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or join our community at forex.academy and receive all our services for free. Your like is also highly appreciated. Enjoy. And ask ourselves the first question, well, what is a Japanese candlestick chart? Now, the components of a Japanese candlestick and in front of you, you have an illustration of what a Japanese candlestick typically looks like. Japanese candlestick is made up of, my apologies, is made up of the same four price plots that are used to construct a typical bar chart. In other words, the open, the high, the low, and the close. Candlesticks are you color coded now what this really means is that you will have a different color for an up day if we can just refer to a day as the frequency that we'll focus on and a different color for a down day in this illustration you can see that the market opened down here and it closed up at or close to the highs this candle is color coded blue the opposite is the case for this particular candle where the close is below the open and is color coded yellow. Now that we've seen what the body is, we can define the three components of a candle. The three components are firstly the upper and the lower shadow, and this is really the area outside of the body or the real body, just as a reminder that the body is the area between the open and the close. So the upper shadow and the lower shadow will reflect the remainder of the range for that particular day. The upper shadow will end at the high, the lower shadow will end at the low. And that is typically the what a Japanese candlestick candle or what a Japanese candle looks like. And those are the three components of the candlestick, the real body, which is really what we'll focus the bulk of our attention on, and both the upper and the lower shadow, which reflect the remainder of the range over the course of that day. Before we look at um, the actual patterns, we need to, to reflect and understand a few important components about Japanese candlesticks. And the first is the importance uh, of the real body. Now, the size of the real body is important because it can provide useful clues regarding prospective, corrective, or reversal points. In the chart in front of you, you can see two different bodies. Now, when I use the word body, all that we will be focusing on is the area between the open and the close, as I stressed earlier. If we look at the candle on the left-hand side, the open closes somewhere near the bottom end of the range, rallies over the course of the day to close quite close towards the top end of the range. And then, in other words, by just looking at the type of activity that occurred, that occurred over the course of this day, this seems to be quite a strong bullish, uh, bullish session. If we make a comparison to the activity on the right-hand side, we can see that the ranges are roughly the same. If we just look at the upper and the lower shadow, we can see that the market opened at this particular level, sold off over the course of the day to close roughly somewhere in the middle of the range. If we were to have to choose between one or the other in terms of a stronger degree of commitment that is being illustrated by the market, we would have to choose the candle on the left principally because the market has opened close to the lower end of the range and closed closer towards the top end of the range. Therefore, the market gives us a stronger indication that potentially there is a higher probability that the market will continue in an upward direction from this level. If we look at the right-hand candle, we've opened somewhere in the middle and we've closed somewhere in the middle. Once again, the market has had relatively wide range, hasn't has tried to push to the upside, hasn't held, tried to push to the downside, the lower end of that range hasn't held, and has come back 
to somewhere in the middle. This gives perhaps a slightly greater degree of uncertainty within the market. Is the market really bearish? Sure, it did close lower, but is it as bearish as the candle on the left-hand side in terms of the bullish signal that it has focused on? So with this illustration, um, what we would advise you to do is just to really evaluate in terms of following the logic of market behavior against the patterns that we will look at to understand what these candle sessions are actually telling us. So the real body is important because it provides useful clues with respect to either a prospective correction or a reversal in that particular market. The color of the real body can also be used to identify directional changes in any given market or over any given frame. It makes total sense that if a market is moving up, we're probably likely to see many more blue candles if we use these coding. And if the market is moving down, it makes total sense that we are likely to see many more bearish candles over the course of that period. When markets are consolidating, there perhaps might be more of an even balance between bullish candles and bearish candles. Understanding a long shadow. Now, in this particular illustration, what has happened over here is that the market has been moving in a downward direction. And over the course of this particular day, the market has sold off aggressively. You can see that the market would have opened this particular level over here and closed at this level. Over the course of the day, though, we saw a very sharp sell-off down to this level. But strong buying interest came in for whatever reason, whether it's uh, profit taking um, or actual fresh positioning being established is not really relevant from a technical analyst perspective because our focus is on price. We can see that price rallied aggressively from this level. These long shadows identify critical areas of support. So when you do see them, and they do occur often, take these this piece of information as firstly highlighting either support or resistance and the fact that the market may have, because it was trending down in this instance, traveled too far and there has been a degree of discomfort by the market at those very low levels. In other words, does that suggest that perhaps the bearish sentiment is beginning to dissipate and should we then be focusing our attention on any signals that suggest a possible reversal? So long shadows are important.